Hello, family. It's me, K um, Steps, and I'm back with some breaking news, uh, something that just came across. I'm back with some breaking news. The young brother, Joshua Brown, he was the next door neighbor of Botham John, was shot and killed late Friday night in Dallas, Texas. He, um, this is the young black man that had the t-shirt on. If any of you watched the trial or watched clips of the trial, he was the young man that had the Dragon Ball Z t-shirt on. And, um, he was both an, um, John's next door neighbor and he testified for the prosecution. He has been found dead. He has been murdered. This young black man has been murdered. Um, let me read you this article. Let me read you a little bit uh, of, of this article from Law and Crime, a uh, Dan Abrams production. It says, attorney for Botham Jean's family, neighbor who testified against Amber Geiger shot and killed in Dallas. Uh, this is by Colin uh, Kambaka, Kambaker. It was at 5.30, it was at 5.53 p.m. October the 5th, 2019. So this was at 5.30 today. Joshua Brown, the next door neighbor of Botham Jean, was shot and killed late Friday night in Dallas, Texas. An attorney for, for John's family said, Brown recently testified for the prosecution in the murder trial of former Dallas cop Amber, Amber Geiger. According to the Dallas Morning News, officers arrived on the scene at around 10.30 p.m. to the Atera Apartments located at the 4600 block of Cedar Springs Road in Dallas's Turtle Creek neighborhood. Per that report, police found a man on the ground with multiple gunshot wounds. He was taken to Parkland Memorial Hospital where he died from his injuries. Witnesses told police they heard several gunshots and saw a silver four-door sedan speeding out of the parking lot. The Dallas Police Department has yet to release information about the victim or the, or the suspect, but attorneys with knowledge of the case and Brown's family confirmed Brown's ad identity via social media on Saturday afternoon. Dominique Alexander, a Dallas area civil rights activist who is close to Brown's family, posted about his death on Facebook. I have been notified that Joshua Brown, who testified on the stand in the Amber Ganger trial was shot and killed last night. Not sure what happened, but I will keep you updated on new developments. Lee Merritt, <coughs> yeah, right. The attorney for Botham Jean John's family later confirmed the news in a separate Facebook post. Joshua Brown, the next door neighbor of Botham Jean was killed last night after being shot several times by an unknown assailant, Merritt noted. Local media has reported on the shooting but have not confirmed Brown's identity because Brown worked closely with prosecutors just a week ago to ensure Amber Geiger was properly convicted in the murder trial. The DA's office has fairly direct contact with Brown and his family. An ADA has confirmed that it was in fact Brown who Joshua Brown who was killed although they have yet to identify a suspect or motive for the shooting. The case is now in the hands of the Dallas Police Department. Brown's testimony stood out as a fact witness who was approaching his apartment directly across from Botham John's apartment when shots rang out. Online reaction thus far has been fierce, with many people terming Brown's death an assassination, hit, and or revenge on behalf of Dallas cops. While the timing of Brown's death is suspicious, there is at this time no evidence to, to support that. Merritt also said that Brown lived in constant fear that he could be a victim of gun violence. Brown was still visibly shaken up from the incident when he took the stand to testify on behalf of the prosecution. His murder underscores the reality of the black experience in America. A former athlete turned entrepreneur, Brown lived in constant fear that he could be the next victim of gun violence, either state sanctioned or otherwise. We have more work to deal with. We have more work to do and to deal with the constant threats to our community, both from within and without. Brown in, deserves the same justice he sought to ensure the John family. The Dallas County criminal justice system must mobilize must be mobilized to identify his killer and see that he is held accountable for this murder. 
D, uh, the Dallas Police Department did not confirm the identity of the fi victim when responding to a law and crime inquiry. Instead, they referred us to their official release on the case. On Friday, October 4th, 2019, at approximately 10.37 p.m., Dallas Patrol officers responded to a shooting call at the Atera Apartments located at 46. 06 Cedar Spring Road. Upon arrival, officers were flagged down by several witnesses directing them to the complainant's location. The complainant was found lying on the ground in the apartment parking lot with multiple gunshot wounds. Dallas Fire Rescue responded and transported the complainant to Parkland Memorial Hospital where he died from his injuries. Several witnesses heard several gunshots and observed a silver four-door sedan leaving the parking lot at a high rate of speed. There is no additional information on the su suspect suspects at this time. The complainant did not have any ID cards on him. Therefore, next of kin notification will be pending the ME examination and positive identification. It is important to note that there, was, that there were no additional victims regarding the shooting call. The two victims I reported earlier that showed up at Parkland Hospital were not related to this shooting. This is an ongoing investigation and no one is in custody. Um, then they have a, um, a, 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 um, a clip of Brown's testimony in the, in the trial. And that's it. So, again, family, Joshua Brown, the young black man that was the neighbor to uh, Botham, Botham John, and he, I, and he testified for the prosecution against Amber Geiger. And um, his testimony, he talked about everything he saw because he was approaching his apartment uh, while all of this was taking place. And, you know, he testified to everything that he saw. And um, they're saying that his that, that you know, his testimony was pivotal in, in, in you know, in her conviction and, uh, and her being found guilty of murder. This young man is now dead. This young man. And remember, again, if you remember... Um, if you watch the trial, he's the young man that testified he had on the the, the, the Dragon Ball Z t-shirt. And at, at one point, he actually cried when he was talking about John and he was talking about Botham and he was talking about what type of person Botham was and all of that. He actually cried on the stand. So that's the young man who is now dead. So all I have to say at this point is um, watch out. We're not surprised. We're not surprised. White supremacists and, 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 and racists and, and, and racist cops and, and all of that were very upset that she was found guilty. They were very upset that she got any time at all. And to, to, to believe that this is, you know, maybe some kind of retaliation or whatever is not so far-fetched. It is not so far-fetched. So, family, be careful. And um, we'll, I'll keep you posted on what's going on with this case. I'll keep you posted as more information comes forward. But, again, um, Joshua Brown... The young black man that uh, uh, testified in the Amber Gaga trial for the prosecution against Amber Gaga, he was the neighbor to Botham John. Uh, this young man is now dead. He was found lying on the, the ground in his apartment parking uh, lot with multiple gunshot wounds. And by the time they got him to the hospital, Parkland Memorial Hospital, he died. So um, I will keep you posted. I'll have the link to um, this article down in the description box. And um, let's keep our eyes and our ears open and know that evidently this case hit harder and, and, and that murder conviction and that sentence hit maybe hit a little harder than we thought it did. But um, le let's just hope, it, no, I'm not even gonna say it because it's, it's not. I'm sure that they'll come up with another narrative. I'm, I'm sure they'll spin it another way. But we all pretty much know what happened. We all pretty much know what happened and what went down. So, again, I will keep you posted. But, again, Joshua Brown, the neighbor to, to Botham John, and the young man that testified for the prosecution against Amber Geiger is now dead. He has been shot. He has been shot and he has been killed. So let's stay on cold, family.